What's going on guys, Cliffy here, big game here today in the German Super Cup against Bayern Munich and uh, I will, well the season hasn't even officially started yet and there is plenty going on in and around the club. So I'm going to start off first uh, with a couple of injuries, so we have lost both Royce and Schürrle for three to four months with the same injury, so that means our left hand side um, is very different now. I have brought Yarlamenko, I believe his name is, the Ukrainian. Um, he is now in the side. He is our starting uh, right winger. And we have uh, Christian Pulisic, who played so very well in episode one on the other wing. So um, that's that there. Now, you're probably going to notice that there's no Aubameyang up top either. That is because PSG has actually activated his release clause. They've offered... Oh, is, uh, I think that's Gotza. Is that good, sir? I think it is. The Wonderkin getting the job done. And Mario Gutza against, I guess his former club against his former club against his former club. Because started off at Dortmund, went to Bayern, is now back at Dortmund, obviously. Um, but what a start to the Super Cup. He's gone and got us the very early goal. Um, but as I was saying, PSG has activated... Uh, Aubameyang's release clause, his buyout clause, it was like a hundred million or something crazy. So that is going to be a huge loss. So I do need a little bit of help. If there is any players that you would uh, potentially like to see me sign, uh, especially someone up top. I was thinking maybe Sanchez because there's a lot of talk about him uh, obviously leaving Arsenal and all that. So possibly he could go there. I think PSG are actually rumoured uh, to... Uh, possibly be chasing his signature now as well. Uh, Manchester City are highly regarded in that too. So, um, do I guess really need a striker? We do have young Philippe, um, who I believe is actually more... Ooh, good finish. Who was that? Sign that guy up. If he's a striker, get him into the side. Lewandowski, there's no way. No way that we'll be able to sign him. He is actually another player who has gone from Dortmund to Bayern uh, to obviously try and... Well, I guess, you know, be a traitor first and foremost, but try and win, uh, you know, probably the Champions League and maybe some other Bundesligas as well. So 1-1 uh, here after 20 minutes. Uh, so this is ga well, this game is really action-packed, to be fair. Um, we have only had really two actual minutes on the video and already two goals. So you got to be happy with that. It is action-packed. It is good. So we do have, as I was saying, we've got Philippe, um, who is playing in our striker position today. And uh, apart from that, we don't really have any other strikers, any other out-and-out -out strikers um, in the side. I think Philippe is actually probably more of a winger, to be fair. Um, I think his ultimate team card actually ships as a winger. So it'll be interesting to see how he goes. He is a centre forward. Um, so playing up top today, he's normally used to just playing just in behind. Um, but we do, I mean, with that money that has been spent on a Bomiang. I think out of the hundred and I think it's about 106 million his buyout clause. Um, we've been given about 94 million of that, so we do have plenty of money in the transfer kitty that we can use to try and sign ourselves that new striker and possibly somewhere else. Another thought I did just have um, is that I can use uh, Guerrero. Oh, that's off the post. I thought that was off the post and in, but uh, Lewandowski is playing an absolute stellar role here today. Could have had his second just then and there. Um, but back to the winger debacles, I have just actually had a thought um, that now that Guerrero is a left mid, uh, that we could possibly look at using him as well. Here's the man we were talking about earlier, Philippe, having a shot at Manny Neuer, but it has been saved. And I believe we have actually gone and won ourselves a corner. So I'm um, pretty happy with that. Hopefully we can try and get something on the end of it. But there's plenty of money, as I said, in the kitty. We've had plenty of transfer offers as well for a host of players, as Socrates is going to let rip there from a very long way out. Gets a deflection and does go out for a corner. But plenty of transfer offers. I think Lucas Pischek, I did talk about that in the last episode that he was offered. Uh, I think we were offered 17 or 27 million euro for him from Chelsea. Um, we have had offers for Royce, which has been flat out declined. He is the club captain. He's not leaving Dortmund. I mean, I've got his name on the back of my shirt. If, I, if that happened, I'd have to get a new Dortmund shirt. You know, because we can't have that. So... There was him. Uh, Shinji Kagawa had an offer as well from Liverpool. I think the, the Royce offer was from Liverpool as well. So they must have a bit of money uh, in the kitty to spend. And Lewandowski makes it too. Just before the half-time interval, uh, we, there is only about two and a half minutes left to go. But he does make it too. 
And uh, he is really bossing this game at the moment. Apart from that one header from Götze, that really has been the only uh, goal-scoring opportunity I would say that we have had um, in this half of play so far. So if we can try and nab one here right before the interval, I will be absolutely stoked with that. Um, but don't really want to concede a third, because I think that would almost see us uh, dead and buried out of the contest, heading into the second half as well, uh, to try and, I guess, come back from two goals down, at least to get us level, and then we still need to score, obviously, that third to get us up there. But, I mean, the game's pretty even. We have had six shots, five on target. Bayern have just been a lot more clinical uh, in their finishing, and Lewandowski, I mean, he has just played a wonder role uh, up top here today. He has just been very, very impressive, um, as has this whole Bayern Munich team. And this, I guess, you know, this is a standard. This is a good... Uh, benchmark to see where this Dortmund side is at, obviously. Uh, no Royce, no Aubameyang, as we have touched on. No Schürrle. Uh, so probably three very key players that are missing there. Um, but to be keeping, I guess, in touch with uh, with Bayern, you know, you've got to be happy with that. We've got a lot of money, as I said, in the transfer kitty, so we can go and spend that, bring ourselves in a striker or two. I mean, you know, for $100 million, you can probably get a couple of good strikers. I was thinking maybe Murata, but because he has uh, only just moved to Chelsea, he probably wouldn't be available um, for, a, for a signature or for a signing right at this moment. So we can't really... Uh, I'm just trying to think really who else there is, apart from Sanchez, who isn't... I mean, doesn't even really uh, play as a striker too much, more of a winger, can play up top, but... Um, yeah, more, more of a winger, which we don't really want because the club is absolutely filled with them. Uh, peace check having a go. And we're just getting, to be fair, a little bit too cramped here and trying to be a little bit too cute as well, trying to pass it around, play Arsenal style. And uh, we are now going to see the first substitution. So Ribery coming off. Uh, I'm not even sure who this Pentov guy is, to be fair, whether he's a regen uh, or an actual player for Bayern. He is wearing number 41, so I wouldn't put it past him. And Gutzer is putting that one past his German teammate, Manuel Neuer. And sorry, it's Philippe. It's not Gutzer. It is Philippe, the man who is playing. That is his first goal for us in this career mode, and we've got to be happy with that. He is back in. He is in the side. I think he, he played quite a few preseason games for us, uh, more so on the wing. Uh, but he, I mean, he's still very young. I think he's only about 20, 21, possibly 22. Uh, so, you know, having a bombing at the club with him would have been amazing. But he now finds himself, uh, you know, essentially as this first choice striker at the club, uh, which must be, you know, a club of Dortmund's, I guess, prestige and history could, you know, it could be a little bit unnerving to be fair, because they are a very good club. Uh, I think, I'm not sure if they won a champion. No, I think they have won a Champions League because they do have two stars on their badges, so that would make sense. I think one of mine actually fell off the other day. I think it's sitting on the uh, in the lounge floor, but that's all right. We uh, we won't worry too much about that. But uh, yeah, Götze definitely has the darker here of the two. And that's a nice turn from Philippe and an even better save from Neuer to keep the scores deadlocked at 2-2. But this game has really had everything. It's been exciting. It's been good. Philippe getting another chance on, I'm not sure if that's his favoured left foot or not, um, but straight down the midst of Manuel Neuer. So apart from that, I'm just trying to think. Pre-season cup, we did actually end up winning that. We played Liverpool in the final. Um, and I think we beat them, I think we beat them on pens, actually. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we beat them on penalties. Which is good. So we did get... I mean, we've got some extra transfer money from that as well. Um, so there, there's just... There's so much in the kitty. I don't really think uh, there's any other areas of the ground that really need too much work in, to be fair. Uh, the midfield is very good. Uh, the defence is fairly good when you think uh, Bartra isn't even getting a start now that Toprak has joined. Uh, the wingers are solid. And... Uh, the midfielders, the fullbacks, I mean, we've got plenty of cover in both the left and the right fullback position. Goalkeeper is potentially an area. Uh, if, say, Berkey went down, we do still have Bidenfeller, who is a very experienced campaigner um, and would definitely fit in as our number one if required. But um, that is probably the only area, and obviously striker, because we do need to go and work on that. Wingers, uh, fullbacks, centre-backs, midfielders, we are sorted for. We've got heaps of the suckers. Um, which I think, you know, is good going into the season that we do have a good squad. Um, however, we do just need, uh, I guess, the final couple of pieces of the puzzle. 
uh, just to, oh, I was going to say Lewandowski's not missing that if you give him that much room, boys. There is no way he is missing that, and he has made it count. That is his hat-trick. Man, what I would do to have him back at Dortmund at the moment. Um, oh, he would just be absolutely phenomenal. A guy who we really could use, and uh, there is the hat-trick. So three goals for Lewandowski, two for Dortmund at the moment, and really it is starting to get a little bit panic stations uh, in order to get this win. That's offside, so that's not going to help our causes uh, and we may as well go to, well, we may as well go all out attack, to be fair, because it is a cup final. Um, so it doesn't really matter now, to be fair, if we concede a fourth uh, in the search of going for a third equaliser. So there's a good run from Pulisic. A good ball through to him, and just not the finish there that was required. Goes wide. We are now into referee's time, into stoppage time, and you would have to think that this is going to be lights out, Bayern Munich are going to be lifting the Super Cup. They get first bragging rights in the season. You would have to say, the referee surely has to blow the whistle. And there it is. So, Bayern win the Super Cup. They get bragging rights over Dortmund here. A former Dortmund man, Lewandowski. Seven shots, three goals. And he is the difference maker. That's, uh, you know, we need someone like that in our Dortmund team to lead the line, to score us those goals, um, just because we don't really have it at present. We're not going to watch the presentation because, to be fair, we didn't win. Um, I think, I don't even know who the captain of the Bayern team is now, to be fair. I know Neuer, Neuer probably is wearing the captain's armband, but he's injured in real life at the moment, so not 100% sure. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this up here. You guys absolutely loved episode one of Career Mode. Let's see if we can show the same kind of numbers on episode two. If you have enjoyed this video, drop a like on it. If you are new, please do subscribe. And until next time, guys, ka kite anoa. See you soon.